Sometimes I sit and wonder where my little life went wrong. These old jailhouse blues have got me singing this here song. Hey guys, I'm here today to go over these e collar bungees for your dog. So we're gonna do a quick assembly on how this goes on, and then we're out in the woods and we're gonna see how they hold up. This is a one inch thick biothin collar, so it'll fit all dog tra e collars or any other e-collar that's one inch thick, but we recommend and personally prefer the dog tra collars. So first things first, we're gonna slide this regular um, dog tra arc off of the collar it came from, and then you need a flathead screwdriver in order to undo the Chicago screws on the bungee collar. Once you have the rivets off, set them aside in a safe spot so they don't fall or get lost. And then it's always smart to take a visual note of what everything looks like before you start taking it apart. Then you're going to take the art collar or your dog to collar or your e-collar and slide it onto the new collar. Be careful not to weave too far in because then you're going to have to backtrack and come through these top two slots that you see on the art collar. Once you have it past those two slots, you can pretty much just pull it through, get it under that last loop, push it from one side. It does take a little bit of finessing, but once you have it past this um, original fold from the bungee collar, it's pretty easy to just slide it on. Now that we have the collar on there, we're just going to do a quick eyeball check that it's centered. And then you can see how I'm putting it together before I actually have any screws in my hand. So I'm just going to slide the biothene end through the D-ring. Be aware that the screw side should be facing the inside of the collar. So I'm going to set that up just like I see it on the other side and get it going first with my hands. And then I'll use a screwdriver to tighten it and finish it up. Yeah. So some things we really like about this collar is the ease and quickness of putting it on, which I'll show you in a second. Um, the flexibility of it. This thing has the original bands these come on collars have no give. So when the dog's breathing and its neck is constricting or whatever it may be, it's out in the woods hunting. Um, there's no give here and there's a lot of give on this one. Here I got the couple color options, which is kind of cool. So she's got this pink one she's going to be wearing today. And so real easy. We're just going to slide it over the dog. I like to put them right there, kind of the side of their neck. And then we just pull it tight. And we're done. It's got some give. That's not going to go anywhere. On it just a little bit, you can just cinch it out. Super easy. So the cinch, if you guys couldn't see it there, you just pull it in. And then you can pull it out. But it's not going to really go from the dog on its own. So. We're going to take a hike through the woods now to show you guys how these hold up. So after a just under seven mile hike in the woods, we were super happy to find that our collars were just as tight by the end of the hike as they were in the beginning. Thanks for joining us, everybody. See you next time. Bye.